I'm finding 26. I'm letting them make Look for play. some kind of inside movement. Someone coming off a pick. Oh, it's good! Think of the Tri-State, the best. Clark, what's up, bud? How you doing? Good. How about Matthias asking me how I am when he's sitting there all banged up? That's what makes him so special, buddy. Great kid. Sense of humor, too. He said you remind, uh, he, or you actually look like Don Johnson, mid-80s, Miami Vice with the outfit. So the sense of humor is still here for Matthias. My man. You know, they killed me a couple weeks ago. I wore, like, a pink shirt, and then Sean Orion was killing me, so I went with the blue, and now Matthias is killing me. All right, Kark, here we go. Listen, we've had some fun through the years at the network doing our all-star team. Sometimes you take some heat, but that's okay. Let's break it down. The Kark Tri-State All-Stars, and we'll start with the attack and a guy that I love, Matty Cavanaugh from Chaminade. Well, this kid has tremendous hockey background. If you watch him play, especially around goal line extended, great hands, uh, awareness around the cage, and a toughness, too. He's stepped up in huge games, dominated against Yorktown, had a couple huge outing outings against St. Anthony's. This kid has a nose for the cage. I think he'll be one of the top attackmen at Notre Dame in the years to come. That's a, a group uh, that's kind of uh, not uh, with the elite in terms of college lacrosse, their attack unit. They'll get uh, serious voltage from Kavanaugh. Clark Kyle Keenan, another one of your attack guys, really had an incredible year for Pops. Well, he's a coach's son, and he plays like one on the field. If you watch him play, tremendous command of the offense. He can shoot. He can score. If you look at his numbers, uh, versatility really uh, speaks volumes because he's a feeder, a dodger. He was the best player on the field against West Islip. I think his stock soared in that game. Uh, you team him up with Case Mathias at Duke. It's going to be one of the top attack in the uni uh, units in the country uh, with Jordan Wolf down there already. Forget it. Matchup problems all over the place. Forget about teaming them up at Duke. You're teaming them up on the Tri-State first team. Well, no one plays with a bigger X on his back than Case Mathias from Darien. Every single scouting report, it's all about stopping number four in blue. And teams haven't been successful. Uh, he's dominated on the big stage last year as a sophomore, nine goals in the state title game. This year, uh, that trend continued. No one really was able to stop him. Bobby Duvniak played him well from Manhasset. But matchup-wise, no one had the answer for Case Mathias from Darien. Kark, you know, when you so much of lacrosse now is becoming those hybrid type guys, defensemen who can fly up and down the field, middies who can play attack, the whole thing. Your first guy, and we watched him this weekend, is kind of that hybrid guy. Midi slash attack. For this team's purposes, you're gonna put our buddy Sally Tuttle, King Tut, as a midi slash attack. Yeah. Sal is game has has really risen. And when he's gonna go to Hofstra, he's gonna step on the field day one. They lose Jay Carr, they lose Jamie Lincoln, they get Sal Tuttle, uh, one of the leading scorers in Long Island. He's willed this team with his attitude and his play, beating West Islip, playing in the state semifinals tomorrow. I look for Tuttle to be the best player on the field, along with Shenanda Ho as goalie Bobby Wardwell, who's off to Syracuse. This kid's a star. Yeah, I love the way that free-spirited guy. Brandon Gamblin from Hicksville, played this year at Sachem North, and they got themselves a big-time score. Probably the best all-around midfielder in the Tri-State. I just think this kid can stretch a defense with his outside shot. He's a tremendous feeder. He was the leading scorer on the Long Island Empire team. Uh, that in itself is a huge feat. And Gamblin, a lot of preseason hype because of the fact that he transferred, but he delivered. His play was tremendous all season long. Andriasi was hurt. Gamblin was dominant all season long for Sachem North. The guy in the Garden State whose stock has risen the most during this season is Stephen Pontrello from down south, St. Augustine's Prep. He's the best offensive player in the state of New Jersey, maybe the best junior midfielder in the country, at least in the top three. This kid, along with his brother, Nico Pontrelli, Nico would be on this first team if the attack wasn't so deep. But Stephen Pontrello, after talking to some Jersey coaches, his ability to separate from the defense, get teammates involved, uh, can stretch a defense with his outside shot, and his first step, tremendous burst. I love this kid's game. He's going to be a stud at UNC. You know, Kark, when you put teams like this together, and, and you look at units, and the toughest thing is, I know when you were going through the team the other night, you were kind of talking out loud, and your wife was like, oh, no, you can't leave this kid off, that kid off. This year, we had some outstanding 
outstanding long poles in the tri-state. Was the defensive team the most difficult to put together? I think the first team was, but overall I think the depth of the tri-state was in the attack. If you look at guys like Ryan D. Simone not getting on the first team or the second team from Long Island, one of the leading scorers for Smithtown East, Pontrello's brother uh, doesn't make the cut, uh, along with uh, uh, Eddie Lubowick from, uh, from, from the Garden State as well, who's off to Notre Dame. That position, I thought, as a whole, attack was the deepest, but to make the first team defense was the hardest. Uh, you have guys uh, like Jehelka and Bobby Duvniak and Jehelka's teammate Fisher. The list goes on and on. This is such a deep position, and these guys are college ready. All right, well, listen, we're going to get to the defense now. Remember, if you want to congratulate Kark on his picks or rip them, 516 224 6100. Kark, no surprise, one of the guys on your tri state defensive teams, the Superman, Stephen Jehelka. Yeah, just a beast. Physically, he's been ready to play college lacrosse probably for the last 24 months. You look at his feet, uh, the way that he really pounds attackmen, his stick skills are great. Uh, he's a lefty defenseman, too, so from a matchup standpoint, he really dominates right handers. And if you look at his play on the screen, too, so physical. This kid is 18 years old. He plays like a 22 year old stud in college. I think he's probably college ready right now more than any defenseman in the tri state. He'll step on the field day one for the Harvard Crimson Tide. Well, when we were doing this last year, buddy, Jehelka was a first teamer, and so was Mike Pellegrino from Connecticut. Didn't hear a lot about him because they played in that tough Suffolk Conference uh, Class One this year. But if you know defense, as you do, this guy is as good as they get. Well, when I spoke to Coach Dave Petromala, he's so excited uh, to get this kid because his motor never stops. Uh, Pellegrino is a pit bull. He's undersized, but he plays with a chip on his shoulder. And I think that really drives him to be the best player he, he can be. A lot of teams shied away from him in the recruiting process. Because of that, uh, Coach Petromala actually went after that because of the fact that he loves his aggressiveness, his ability to start transition in the open field. Uh, this kid, I look to play uh, seaplane defensive midfield within his freshman and sophomore year on a deep defense down in Baltimore. Bill Cherry's really happy because he's got Bobby Duvniak coming back next year. When I watched him play this year, I was blown away by his toughness and for a big kid, how quick he is. Yeah, he tremendous quickness too. And the way that he moves and because he's so big, you don't think he's quick, but his feet are excellent and he loves to carry the ball up the field along with, with Case Mathias, who you just spoke to earlier. I think these are the two best juniors in the country. Uh, they'll battle out next year, too, on the field uh, for, for a top billing, I think, in terms of the entire country. But Duvniak uh, is a force. He's been playing since his freshman year, and, and I love his tenacity, uh, his ability to communicate. He's like another coach on the field, too. He plays his angles beautifully, and uh, just a phenomenal defensive uh, season for the junior Duvniak. Clark, it's become a game of specialists, and you know you got the Fogos, guys that you know on and off the field, and like a snap of a finger. So it's fair when you put all-star teams together. You have a specialist position. You go back into the Garden State for Ralph D'Agostino, football guy by way of Immaculata High School in Somerville, New Jersey. Well, Syracuse gets a prized recruit here in D'Agostino, and a kid who's so versatile. You see him right there, number 33, starting offense. He's actually a better defenseman, and uh, that's the position I see him playing uh, down the stretch at Syracuse. Uh, just a premier athlete. You mentioned the football background, tough-nosed kid. Uh, can play defensive midfield with a short stick because of his offensive uh, reps that he got in high school. But I see a long pole uh, in his hand down the stretch at Syracuse. Diagostino, just one of those athletes who just makes plays all over the field. Kark, this is the next position where I think you'll get people to say, Okay, wait a minute. This other guy had a great year, but you think Jake Gambitsky from Wanta deserves it and is the best in the tri-state area? I, I do, and if you look at Wanta, you know, they're not a power, and a, a lot of teams uh, kind of roll through Wanta throughout the regular season, but Gambitsky is the total package. If you ask who's the best team on Long Island right now, you're going to say Garden City or Farmingdale. He had 22 saves 
against Farmingdale and scored a goal. This kid is, has kept this team in every single game, and I think when you look at the goalie position, you really can't look at the overall success of the team. I know you kind of equate it to a quarterback in football, but this kid's done everything possible to help this team win, and he's, he's kept them in some close games. Gambitsky, along with Duvniak and Fisher uh, in Jahelka up at, uh, up, up at Crimson Land in Boston, that defense is going to be incredible in a couple years. Wow, Kark, it's not easy now. One of the things, if you go right now, and it's 842, go to msgvarsity.com right now, and you'll see our second team, Tri-State Lacrosse All-Stars. It's up there right now. Kark, the one guy on the second team that was the hardest guy to leave off the first team. Real quick. Timmy Rotans, only a sophomore, led Long Island in scoring with 110 points, uh, versatility too, over 60 goals, over 40 assists. Uh, just a sophomore, he has two more years uh, to be with the first team, but every single Division I coach wants this kid from Shoreham, Wading River. He's spectacular. Kark, get some gas in the car. You're coming out here next week to name your player of the year. Can't wait to have you here, buddy. Sounds good. All right, the great Paul Carcaterra with the Kark Report, the first and second team All-Stars. Again, you can go to msgvarsity.com right now to see who made the second team. Regroup, we're going to come back with the girls All-Stars, the girls top 14. But before we do that, how about some calls of the week? In over two minutes, they've held this ball. Here's Tuttle now, spins and fires it home! King Tut opens the scoring in the Long Island Championship! 494, he scored 41 runs. Is this home run number seven? A leadoff home run off the scoreboard! Only down by two, but they need to get going. Here comes Keenan now, Keenan turns to the inside, turns and fires home! Daddy, Kyle Keenan! And it's a one goal game! That is a hot shot out towards center field. Castaldo on his horse and makes the play. Lamondo was past second base, and he will get caught at first. Back over to Malave up top. This is Dros now. Dros quickly to Timmy. Good inside. Dump and a goal. This is beautiful lacrosse. Trevor Brosco has got another one. Here's Keenan. Keenan cross Creed. Here we go. Oh, Terry! The Wizard of Terry! The Wizard of Terry! Kyle Terry with the save of the century! Are you kidding me, Kyle? Mahoney pokes it out to left field. Rella slips in the outfield. Ball game! The Pirates are champs for the fourth consecutive year! Up top they go. The Dalers looking for their moment of glory. Left-handed shot. It's over! It's over! Ball game! Ball game! Mikey Paratini! 